Welcome to Road to Billions Podcast, the mentality of an entrepreneur. With your host, Moise Bertrand. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is your host, Moise Bertrand, the Road to Billions Podcast. Man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and listening, man. On this episode, I'm going to make it very simple and straightforward. Um, but before I do that, you guys, I just want you guys to do one thing. And that's the thing I always tell you guys every single podcast. <laughs> Please rate and review, subscribe to others about this podcast because we are looking to gain information, if not from me, from others. Um, and then we all collectively come together as a as a member and community. And then we all work on things we need to work on. I appreciate you guys who've who've been giving me feedback, who've been letting me know. Hey, listen, man, I love the podcast. I've been listening. You're great. No, you're great. When people say I'm great, I say you're great. You know, that's that's my thing. Have a good day. Have an even better day, you know. (laughs) So uh, that's just me, man. But 369 method, Nikola Tesla, write it down, dream it, believe it, be it. Um, So what am I trying to say with this 369 method? What is this? So if you guys haven't known, um, Nikola Tesla, he was a very world renowned scientist and he had a very different persona to him. He had a way of life. A lot of people just didn't understand. And he had a method that was three, six, nine, which means he wrote down three of his goals in the morning, six times in the afternoon from 12 to three or 12 to four and nine times in the evening whenever he was going to go to sleep. And, you know, why the evening? Well, a lot of people don't understand when you work, when you first wake up, your brain is in theta mode, I believe. Before you go to sleep, your brain is literally at the point of point in your life where your brain, when you're when you're about to go to sleep, you guys, your brain it, it sponges up most of the information. That's the time of the day where most of the information is sponged because now you're about to go into sleep. So if you ever watch a scary movie, then you have a nightmare. You guys can pretty much translate how that could work if you're doing something positive with the same thing. So writing your goals down three, six, nine out the day every day not only did he say that it's going to attract whatever you want a lot quicker but faster but you're tricking your mind to subconsciously believe that it's already yours because you're speaking from the point of view of i am i have so when i tell everybody when i speak on this podcast when i'm saying i am going to build a millionaire i am going to be a multi-millionaire i am going to build a billionaire there's steps to getting to the B's, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm just going to jump straight to the B. I got to go to the, the millionaire stage, the multi-millionaire stage, then the B stage. So once you're act, actually going through your manifestation, your dreams and your and your realities, you're looking at all. I know you're looking at everything that you pretty much did in the past and where you are now. You could say that you spoke some things into existence if you haven't really looked at your life like everybody did that. At one point, you said something so much that it came true. So when he says write it down three times in the morning, that's because in the morning, your mind is starting to get ready for the day three times. In the afternoon, your day is still going by, but you still want to adapt and keep that in your mindset. At nighttime, that's right before you go to sleep. And then now it's subconsciously program your brain to think about ways to get that information and extract ways and solutions to steps to get to that next level, what you're trying to um, achieve. And I feel like a lot of rappers like Young Thug and Elite Chopper, he talks about these things. They talk about those things. Um, Money bag, yo. Hey, Kevin Gates. Like, we all talk about everything that we want in life, and we speak it out into existence, the power of the tongue. Lil Boozy even said that. Shout out to Boozy, man. Ho- hopefully one day I get him on the podcast. But he was pretty much saying, like, he has a new movie coming out, first and foremost. That's that's exceptional. That's really dope to see people do great things. You know, we don't over, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves with, having people keep keep making music all the time because we want to see what other artistic things you have to do. And Boozy was one of those one of those people who went into different avenues and lanes which I always respect because he's been rich technically his whole life. He's been doing it and as bad as you want to say he's a clown, he be clowning around, he's rich, he's a most high millionaire, you know, he has the game figured out literally. So he was saying at the end of his snippet of the movie, he was like, listen, man, there's power of the tongue. Don't tell nobody that you're not going to make it. Say I'm going to build a millionaire. I know I'm going to build a millionaire. So when I tell you guys, when I speak my manifestations into this mic, when I speak it to you guys, I know these things are going to take place. I know I'm going to retire before 30. I know I'm going to be 
double M, multi-millionaire before 30. Everything I'm speaking to you guys, you guys may not understand, but I have a way of living where I believe everything that I put out there is going to come back. Whenever it does, it's going to come back, but it's promised. And I want you guys to really start taking taking your life serious, if not already. Start with a vision board. A vision board, I use it. I have two things in my room. I have a vision board and I have an axe and shall receive board. My vision board is visually things like things I want to come to fruition, you know, the lifestyle I want to create for myself. My goal is that I can really see the action shot receive board is pretty much notes and affirmations and steps and goals and things I'm axing and that I'm hoping to receive that I will receive. But the thing about that is I'm separating two of the two of the most important things in my life onto two, two different boards, because first I want to be able to read these things that I have on this board. And then on the visual board, I want to be able to see these things visually. So I'm looking at my life like I'm subconsciously programming myself every day to look at the board to look at the vision board, to read it down, to write it down, to read it, to write it, to read it, to write it, look at it, read it, and then do the whole cycle every day, every morning, every night, afternoon, every evening. So a lot of people may not understand, like, the faster you tell yourself, okay, this is going to happen. I don't care how long it's going to take. This is going to take place. A few years ago, if you would ask me where I would be at now and tell me I would be here now, I wouldn't really see myself because I didn't plan for it. But the steps I had on my vision board and my manifestation board for actions I receive, this is what led me here. An entrepreneur, a business owner, you know, someone who's doing what he wants with the people he wants, where he wants, you know, I'm just going to take on a bigger scale. But my manifestation board and vision board knows these things, but it's taking me through a journey. That's why I said it's an amazing journey, because you start to see how God is going to start shaping things into your life that you're going to be like, man, I, I see why he made me wait or I missed out on this opportunity or why did this didn't work out. Everything has a reason. And I look at everything like lessons, like different perspectives. I don't ever look at things like, man, like I don't try to do that, you know, so. You guys take advantage of the of the time you guys have. We young. Um, if you aren't young, I always consider you young because young is just a mindset. You know, 30, 40, 50, young, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. But fact of the matter is I love you guys. Keep chasing your dreams, man. This has just been a short episode. I just want to give you guys something for the week. I like to experience um moments in my life where I could come back and give you guys experiences. So I'm just going through the motion of certain things right now. But when everything is all sealed and done and taken care of, I will give you guys the new information that I have gained over these last couple of weeks and days. And um, to share with you guys at all expense. So I appreciate you guys for listening to Roll the Blends podcast. It's been an amazing journey. And I hope you guys keep chasing your dreams and doing great things. Appreciate you guys.